Hello and welcome to my channel Shifa's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Makin mini samosas with the pizza filling. The one which we get in the market contain a lot of preservatives and stabilizer. So I am recreating the recipe without them. For this we will need 1 4 cup of finely chopped green capsicum and carrots, 1 4 cup of peas boiled and green coriander, 2 tomatoes which I have boiled and mashed. 1 foot cup of grated cheese, 1 foot cup of finely chopped onion, 1 tablespoon of grated garlic, 1 tablespoon of butter, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of mixed herbs and 1 teaspoon of chili flakes. Then I have 1 foot cup of finely chopped paneer. In the original one they don't add paneer. Uh, you can add over your corn as well as boiled chicken as per your liking then we'll need 2 tablespoon of tomato ketchup and for the dough we'll need 2 cups of maida or all purpose flour 5 tablespoon of oil and 2 teaspoon of baking powder Also, we'll need one teaspoon of salt. First, we'll make the dough. In the flour, I'll add baking powder and salt. Give it a mix. Then, to this, I'll add oil. Mix it. Now need to get my hands in work. To this, we'll add cold water to make the dough. I have used almost three fourth cup of water. The dough is done as you can see and it should be hard like this and it should not retract. Our dough is ready. We will cover it with a wet cloth and we will keep it to rest for about 25 to 35 minutes. I have eaten up the oil. To this, I'll add butter. Let it melt. Then, to this, I'll add grated garlic. Then, I'll add finely chopped onions mix it and let them cook till they turn a bit translucent or clear we don't want them to be like brown or light brown in color to this now I'll add carrots and green capsicum if you want you can also add Corns too. We'll cook the veggies till they turn a bit tender for about two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, to this I'll add tomatoes, boiled and mashed. Mix it. To this I'll add salt, black pepper and chili flakes and mix up. Mix it and let it cook. To this I'll add peas and finely chopped green coriander and paneer. 
You can also add boiled and shredded chicken and skip the paneer. Mix it and let it cook. To this, I'll add tomato ketchup. Mix it and let it cook till the water evaporates from this stuffing. Then we'll cool it and we'll add cheese to it. Let it cook on slow flame. I have transferred my stuffing in a bowl. To this I'll add cheese, grate it, mix it. And our stuffing is ready for the mini samosas. Our dough is ready after half an hour and you can see that it is a bit stretchy. Now we'll make the mini samosas out of it. Now we'll make a round chapati out of the dough and then we'll cut it in the shape of a square. Then we place the filling in the center. We'll make design on the side with the fork. You can even use the samosa molds which we get in the market. And it is ready as you can see. We'll do the rest. I've heated up the oil and now fry the samosas. We'll remove the samosas out on a plate. As you can see, the cover of the samosa is very crispy and the feeling is very juicy and yummy. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, do comment and share. If you regret any of my recipes, don't forget to tag me on any of my social media, Facebook or Instagram. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.